extraordinary, extraordinary fellow. Um, very one of proud to know, really. King George the Sixth coronation. You probably heard it before, and he he was the escort to Queen Mary. I mean that is something in itself. So when you look at the coronation footage, I keep looking and thinking. I said, which side were you on, right or left, so we could see. Thirty-one years ago, when my brother pushed me off the curb, and Uncle Ted shouted over, "Don't do that to that little girl!" and he said, "It's all right, it's my sister." And he said, "It's not all right." He came and met my mum and dad, and then came for tea every Tuesday night, and then that was it. He became my granddad. Yeah, the granddad I never had. Love him, miss him every day. Best, best day of my life meeting him. Anyway, this particular night it was very busy, so we came upstairs and had a drink at the bar. So Ted was waiting at the front, fighting to get a drink. And he turned round and said, who's having what? And this man said to him, my God, mate, you've seen a few New Year's, haven't you? <laughs> and Ted just turned to him and said, who do you think you are, you cheeky get? <laughs> They were sitting on the couch, having a cup of tea, they love and I think, I think they were just about to go on the whiskies. Anyway, Dotty the cat comes in, and she was going... And Ted was like, oh, that's a funny noise for a cat to make. And I just looked at Mum, like, oh, no. Anyway, Ted had these shoes with a little lip on. And I remember looking at him going, oh, no, please, no, please, no. Dottie went over and put a little present on his shoe and he went, oh, your cat's by my leg. What's she doing? What's she doing? He don't need gone, put a mouse, a live mouse on his shoe. <laughs> I have never seen an 80 odd year old jump on a couch. He screamed, jumped on the couch. Oh my God, there's a live mouse, there's a live mouse. Like to be, you know, a fireman, save people from burning buildings. You know, being in war, yeah, exactly. And to be scared of such a little mouse. Unbelievable. And to jump on a couch in one fell swoop. Never known it. And we're having a meal and we're all big on trying each other's dishes. And so Ted has this dish and it was fish, if I remember rightly, which I don't like, but the sauce it was with, it looked really tasty. So I grabbed a chip and I went, here, Ted gives it. And he went, Get off your cheeky bugger, eat your own. So I said, I just want to try your sauce. And he kept moving his dish away. Wouldn't let me try it for love and money. Thought I was all right, greedy guts. But that's the way we are in our family. We all try each other's dip, but he's old school, isn't he? Mr. Fish and Chips and plain ice cream. Cheers, Ted. It was when I was painting his house. 
and I was in and out to the garage and you know the back door on his garage the wind because I had an extension cable through I couldn't shut it and a gust of wind came and blew it and it all happened in slow motion even though it was fast and the window smashed in it well obviously I, I felt awful I said don't worry he used to be a glazer and he had a big sheet of glass behind the uh, garage he, we pulled a piece of glass out took it in the kitchen he put it on the kitchen table and he cut it I couldn't believe like I've cut glass myself I couldn't believe how good he cut it and we put it in and then last year We'd been out a few times and Ted said, right, my treat, I want to take you to Don Luigi's. It's so, okay, we came here, had the meal, there was eight, eight of us. And then at the end, Ted says, it, you do it for me, Eunice. So he gives me the card and he's shouting across the table, oh, eight, double nine, you know, the number. <laughs> I'm saying, Ted, shut up. <laughs> so anyway, he's putting the card in and it would not work three goes and in the end Leo said it's not going to work. Peter said you're a good one you Ted, you bring me out with the family to pay for a meal for us and what happens? I've got to fuck the bloody bill again! <laughs> he did get oh, one. So to be fair as soon as he got home he did write oh, yeah. a check. Yeah. He wrote a check yeah oh yeah but it was just so funny. I was six years old and most days after school, me and Mike would go around to Ted's and play games, cards, usually you know, uh, wind sweets and whatever. And usually afterwards we'd get jelly ice cream and biscuits crushed on the top. So for some reason this one day, I remember it was green jelly with vanilla ice cream and we'd crush uh, rich tea biscuits on the top. And I just had this feeling let's flick jelly at Ted so I got a bit of jelly on my spoon and it pinged it at him and he just looked at me and was like you cheeky bitch and he did the same and he just went ping and I had dead long blonde hair and I just screamed cried and I legged it out of his house well the poor fella didn't realize how upset I was I ran home to my mum and was like oh and she didn't know what happened for weeks and weeks and weeks, wouldn't tell what happened. And what did you say? Did you even realise? Well, no, I just knew you hated getting your hair yeah, washed. Yeah, I just didn't like having my hair washed. And because I had jelly in it, I wouldn't speak to Ted for about three months. You wouldn't tell Mum. No, what I wouldn't tell her now. She would have washed your hair. Yeah. And you hated getting your hair washed. Yeah. And you were going, he hasn't done anything. Yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't speak to Ted. So oh, you yeah. asked Ted, didn't you? What, what happened? What happened? And he went, the cheeky little bitch. She flipped jelly at me and she thought I wouldn't flick it back. <laughs> Yeah, you have some. <laughs> and that is But to be fair, after that, I don't think we had jelly at his house ever again. He didn't. We don't, you. We'd only have ice cream and biscuits. I never got jelly again. I wonder why. Mm. Ted uh, came into my parents' house every Christmas day. We used to have a cup of tea, a mince pie, and we'd exchange Chris Christmas gifts before he then went on to have his Christmas dinner elsewhere. The last Christmas we spent together exchanging gifts, I opened a present and it was constipation sachets in a box that was prescribed to Ted from the doctor. And I didn't know quite what to do, so I just looked at my mum and dad and like, what do I do? And Ted realized there was something wrong and he just grabbed it and said, what have I done? And when he realised, he was so embarrassed because he said he confused the box of Dove soaps for the box of constipation sachets. So that's how it, that Christmas ended. But he took it in good fun. Uh, he, we all had a good laugh about it and I've actually written it in the book when we went to his funeral. So I just thought I'd share that because it's one of my fondest memories. Miss him dearly. Ted was invited to St Nicholas's Church in Liverpool. It was the uh, 70th anniversary of the uh, Blitz. And um, I, Arthur and I went with him and Ethel and we picked him up and we went to the, to the church. We're on the way there. His, his name was mentioned on Radio Merseyside. 
And he was going, you know, with him being deaf. He said, he said, uh, Ted German's on his way now. And he goes, is that me? <laughs> so he said, yes. And he went, oh. He was really taken for him. And we went, walked into the church. And we were at the front of the church. And we went through the service. And of course, he was the guest of honour. And uh, Lord Mayor was there. And when we got outside, like what you're doing now, he, had to, um, he met this... Uh, reporter from Granada and he said to he said do you mind doing um, an interview with me so he said all right and then he dried up in the middle of it but then afterwards he came back to my house and we were watching the the news and they all of a sudden there was Andy Bonner with Uncle Ted interviewing and it, it took him for a few minutes and he went is that me <laughs> when you think about it all the things he'd done over the years He'd had a great life. He'd had a great life, yes, yeah. And yeah. I was really proud proud of him, you know, that day. Yeah.